I don't know if I look it or not, but I am pumped this morning. I woke up this morning thinking about maybe just going running barefoot, jumping on a horse and taking off. Hey, I got my kayak loaded up and uh, I am way back in the hills and hollers of my old Kentucky home. I'm gonna do some kayaking today and um, kind of work out this trip that I kind of planned really quick. Not really not too far from my house, just Southern Kentucky here. Uh, brand new place I've never been to before and that's that really gets me going. So um, I'm meeting up with a guy. We're gonna get the kayaks loaded up here in just a second and uh, I'm ready for an adventure. All right, check this out. This looks awesome. Thanks over here to Mark for hooking this up. The water is looking really good. He said we're guaranteed to catch 100 fish each. That's that's all I heard. No. <laughs> he said no, the, the day looks perfect. It's cloudy, got some overcast. Water's nice and clear looking. Let's just stop talking and get to fishing. And like cars. Okay. What college fan are you? Kentucky. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm from Bowling Green. Okay. So, but yeah, I'm a big Kentucky basketball fan. Whew. I was afraid you were a Louisville fan or something no, for a second. No. I was like, if you're a Tennessee fan, I can understand you. Oh, oh, there we go. Rock bass. Yeah, Ooh, fishing is going to be on today. I can feel it. Catch a giant left and right. Camera back there is working right. I do this all day over fishing a pond. I don't even care if there is like five or six pounders in it. There we go. <laughs> There's so many guys that run. Always hungry rat grass. There there's, there's literally so many of these in here. I've just seen them everywhere swimming around. Just a super healthy population of smallmouth. Better here. I'm starting to get up. Yeah. I cannot believe the population of smallmouth in here. You know, a lot of this size, but there's so many. I know a big one's gonna come out at any second and hit. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. There's so, I can't I believe how many fish are in here. It's like three casts in a row. There he is. Huh. 
with a little bit bigger one. Yeah. Man, it's got a strong face to fish. Oh, got him. Oh, got him. <laughs> Didn't know he was on there. He was swimming up, up to me. I'm upsized to the Nico Crawl on a, I think it's a five out hook. Just sinks slowly. A little bit bigger profile. Um, easy to cast in shallow water. But uh, all these little fish are going to hammer it. They're not going to get hooked, but that's fine. So try to try to look for the little bit bigger ones. One on the crawl. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Here he comes. Coming back. He's coming back. Well, at least a little better. Yeah, it's not as big as I thought, but he sort of hit it hard. You hit that thing three times to be able to get it hooked. There was a, I came up to the shallow spot and there's all these beds. There's little, all kinds of beds right here in the shallow area. But there's so much sunfish, looks like long ears, and so many small, small mouth. But man, this place is just, this is like my favorite type of kayaking right here. Just awesome place. Your skin hook. He's good, good, but he's your skin hook. Let me get a picture of that. All right, well, Mark, Mark, show me where the big ones are at. Oh, my bad. It's a good one there. Man, it's loaded up over there. I don't even know how that guy got hooked. We're back in business. All right, we're only like two, maybe two and a half hours in. Not that super long. Coming down this bend over here, and um, I look over and see a nice smallmouth. I throw the crawl over at it. He hammers it, starts peeling drag, and then comes off. I don't know how he came off. He's probably a two-pound smallmouth, a good smallmouth. But then I look back and the camera wasn't even on. So I don't know what all we missed. So far, I probably caught 20 fish, rock bass and small, small mouth. Just, um, he caught a, I hope it was on camera, he caught a good 16 inch small mouth. And then um, I had that chance. So they're, they're out here. We're gonna come across them. Hopefully gonna come across another chance to get another good one. Wow. I wanna go catch a pike or muskie. Uh, Ooh, ooh, uh oh, uh, just a feisty one. Just a feisty one. Camera still on. Yeah. I wonder if that'll ever get broken. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You would think that, how is there not a bigger one up north? They catch them. Oh, that's a big one. No. Broke my line. That was like a three pound smallmouth. Oh my goodness. I just caught a 15 pound carp on this setup yesterday. Oh my. Man. Eight minutes after I restarted my camera and just missed that one back there. Snapped, it broke the leader line. Uh, yes, yeah, yesterday I caught a 15 pound carp and he was peeling drag and taking off. 
that thing just hit and turned and just hammered and just bam. I thought the drag was set good and everything. Oh my goodness, that's aggravating. I don't know. I'm going to keep fishing though. I'm going to get another one. Got it. Cigar. He'd probably break me off. I just saw him and I plinked out in front of him and he bit it. I don't know if I should get him in the net or not. Oh, it came off. <laughs> Large mouth. Well, my biggest catch today so far that I've landed. Little chunky largemouth bass. I saw him sitting over here in the sun, just hanging out. drag set really loose because I don't want anything to break it. There's my biggest one, biggest small mouth today. That little 11 inch guy. Not bad right there. Alright, it is right at 1.30. I think we've been out here 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30. Yeah, three hours or so. We're going to turn around and go back up because we're not, we're, uh, we're just, we just put in one place. The thing about this river though, it, it's so different. It's just, this, I'm not used to this long, slow stretches. It's just kind of an easy flow. I'm used to the mountains where it's just like faster flowing water. So it's definitely really cool. There was spots where there was hundreds of gar. I had one and I could, I could probably catch them if I wanted to, but I'm afraid they'd break my line. I still cannot believe I lost, I had my line break on that giant. I don't know if I'm gonna get another chance on something like that. But uh, this place has been awesome. I'm gonna go back to the light setup that I was using though, just cause I have more trust in it. Uh, loosen my drag a little bit. And we're gonna go up there, kind of paddle some, but fish those, um, those sections that looked really good again. And I think, I think we're gonna get another good one out. Hey, here's one. I need to use my net. Alright, I got my ego pliers and I've been wanting to use the net that I brought. I haven't caught anything big enough to get it in. But um I've had four four or five hits from guys this size on the whopper clubber. Man, I'd hate to get one of these hooks stuck in my hand. Could have been such a great day man how'd i break off on that big one well i finally figured it out yesterday i, I did catch a big old fish and i cranked my drag way down because it was because i was trying to get it in and uh just a little too tight and snapped it off but voila look at this i ain't done yet i gotta get redemption that rod needs redemption i need to get a, a decent fish in so um mark uh he actually he he, was, he he worked last night and came you know straight and kayaked with me so uh, he had to kind of go back and get some rest and stuff. and uh, But he sent me to another spot further on down this creek that I am going to hopefully catch a couple fish out of.
right back on the ruck bass. Pass. So at this point, uh, I lost a little bit of the video footage from this about a two hour kayak tr uh, session, but it didn't make much difference. I still caught a bunch of small, small mouth. And so far from what you've seen, from every fish you've seen caught, there's at least one fish that's not shown. I've, I've literally caught so many fish I'm just kind of searching for those bigger ones, so I decided, well, I, there's this one last section before I leave. I'm going to get all my fishing out, and I'm just going to wade this one little section, and um, then that's where this takes off. One right there. Right where he should be. There's another one. <laughs> There's just so many this size. It's crazy. There's a good one. There's a good one. I can only catch them off the bank, it's the problem. Can't get them out of the kayak. Come on, come on. <laughs> there we go. What? I get them as soon as I get off the bank. Nice. So check that out. That's my biggest one today that I've landed. Three minutes fishing off the bank. There we go. I'll take that little guy. This guy's just smash it. Yeah, that's my second biggest one. I got two biggest ones. Walking and waiting. Pretty little guy. Okay. I'll take that guy. Oh, he's not bad, I don't think. Yep. Uh, I'll take you. Come on in. Oh, oh, it's a little better than I thought. Just... Yeah, I'll take that guy. Tell you what, this place just does not end. As far as you can see, every time I look down, it looks like, oh, look at that bin right there. Oh, look at those rock ledges right there. Look at that. It just, but you, you can't really tell how deep it is. There's not a lot of deep points or deep channels like I thought. It's more real spread out and the fish are just spread out all over the place. All right, I think I finally need to Head back and get out of here.
Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I've caught, I bet you I caught 50 smallmouth today. Now, most of the 45 of them were, you know, under 11 inches. You know, there's a lot in the seven, eight, nine inch range. There's so many, I, I could have caught them all day, just spread out all over through here. Oh man, I, I'm still aggravated. I lost, uh, I lost at least two that were probably two pounds plus. Of course, that one big one snapped my line. And um, I, uh, they're just they're just spread out through there. I knew I was gonna have my chances to get one, and I just couldn't pull through. Dude, what a fun day this was! I fished pretty much all day, exploring. I could oh this, this place looks so good. It's so hard for me to stop, but I love getting out here and finding these places. And uh, thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm gonna pack up and get out of here now. What's that? Yo, thumb pit.